UZ Leuven is an academic hospital in Leuven, Belgium. Associated with the University of KU Leuven, it consists of five campuses. The hospital has 2,000 beds and 8,800 employees. The departments of cardiovascular disease and cardiac surgery together form the largest heart centre in Belgium and is considered a centre of excellence by Circulation, the Journal of the American Heart Association. UZ Leuven was the first Belgium hospital with a Joint Commission International Quality Approval in July 2010. The reason for its success is its continual flow of ideas, innovation and scientific research at the highest level. So we are a quite busy unit. Uh, we see about 55,000 patients a year. But the main thing is that most of them are uh, quite ill, they are quite uh, sick. We are monitoring our patients more than we uh, used to do and it's not only monitoring with a heart rate or blood pressure but it's only invasive monitoring with the CVC lines and also uh, measuring the cardiac output for example. The mind ray system makes my work easier because um, when I look at the monitor I can see all the vital signs of the patient in one glimpse. Once in the ambulance, the paramedics connect the patient to the mind ray monitoring system via the T5 and T1 monitors. This ensures immediate connection to the central monitoring system at the hospital, making the data collection very complete. So we have a name linked with all the data pre-hospital and in hospital. So wherever you go, you always have the information of that patient with you. It's very easy for, uh, for all the, the nurses that, uh, that the same um, T1s monitor is usable in the uh, ambulances, after that in the shock rooms and after that in the hospitalization rooms uh, of the emergency departments. It's always the same uh, T1 monitor that we can use in all the, the departments. The T1 monitor contains all the important parameters that clinicians need to measure their patients and will always remain with the patient throughout their stay in hospital. Even when a patient is being moved across departments and different levels of care intensity, this small monitor will remain with the patient and become the heart of the patient monitoring system. Once a patient is, for instance, uh, have to go to the CT, then we don't have to alter the monitoring system to another transport monitoring system because we are just taking the small one, put it on the bed, and we can click it in in, the, in radiology as well. So then we've got a larger monitoring system again. So that's it's very easy and it's, it saves us a lot of time. One of the most impressive features are the clear view of the screen. Uh, it's very clear figures, very clear colors. Also, we've got repeating screens, so there are large screens in several areas of the emergency department, and those are giving you a nice overview of all the patients, and once one patient is going into an alarm, uh, you will see it immediately. So it's very easy for the nurses to work in those areas because they don't have to stick in front of the, the central monitoring where they are working. But thanks to the repeat screens, it's really helping them to provide the necessary care for the patient in time. The aim is to integrate everything into different environments. The patient monitoring network complies with IHE HL7 protocol and through the powerful e-gateway, the patient monitors can connect with the hospital's admissions, discharge and transport server, and the electronic medical record system, thereby creating a seamless data flow. This system provides comprehensive monitoring data that will enable clinicians to monitor patients from the beginning to the end. The benefits of the MindRay solutions to this hospital have been the improvements to patient safety and increased efficiency for both the doctors and the nursing staff, making them feel more confident in their daily work. <laughs>